Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if Windows Security is not detecting third-party firewalls or antiviruses installed on your computer. So if it's prompting you or nagging you to install or turn on the firewall or the antivirus for Windows, but it's not recognizing you already have a third-party antivirus installed and turned on, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I do want to point out is that you want to make sure that your antivirus or third-party antivirus is turned on. If it's not turned on, Windows Security might be detecting that as just being the same as you don't have one installed on your computer. And also, if you have a very lesser known or obscure antivirus installed, it may not be detecting that as well. So that's certainly a secondary reason that you may be coming across that prompt. So without further ado, like I said, let's go ahead and jump into this. And we're going to start off by actually trying to re-register the DLL file responsible for determining if security software is installed or not. It's not going to necessarily be the fix that I'm going to go through in the registry editor, but if you're just having an issue with some sort of corruption of the Windows DLL file, this should hopefully resolve that. Open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt, right-click on it, and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have two commands in the description of my video. Go ahead and copy the first one, and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window, right-click on it, Select Edit and paste it in. Hit Enter. Should say it succeeded. At this point, close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And now that you're back into Windows, open up the search menu again, CMD, right-click on it, run as administrator, select yes. So go ahead and copy the second command in the description of my video and go ahead and paste that in here and then run that. should succeed as well. Go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. You can also tap Control-V on your keyboard as well using that keyboard shortcut to paste in that command. So now that we're back in the Windows, hopefully that was able to resolve the problem. If not, we can go ahead and just turn off the ability for Windows Security to detect if a third-party antivirus is installed or not. So you can just open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, check back a registry editor, right-click on it, and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And before you proceed, I would suggest you create a backup of the registry. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now that that's done, you want to double click on the HK Local Machine folder, double click on the Software folder, double click on Microsoft, and then you want to go down to Security Center. And now there should be a Feature folder, just left click on that one time. On the right panel, you want to right click in a blank area, select New, select DWORD 32-bit value, name this value Disable AV Check, and hit Enter. Once that's done, double click on this value. In the value data field, delete the zero, type the number one. Base should be hexadecimal and select OK. And then once that's done, again, exactly how you see it on my screen, you will need to close out of the registry editor and restart your computer in order for the change to take effect. So let's proceed with that at this time.
And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point of issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.